Hi again, everybody, alongside Greg Zeiden. I'm John Fanta, and welcome to the first edition of the 2011 Varsity Wildcats Across the Table here on the SIBN. Greg, I bring you in here now. The Wildcats come off a big victory over the Bedford Bearcats last Saturday night. They will now be preparing to take on the Menor Cardinals at Jerome T. Osborne Stadium Friday night at 7 o'clock kickoff right here on the SIBN. Greg, what did you think of their last performance against Bedford? Well, last week the defense was dominant. They played a very good game. They were able to uh, limit the run very well, didn't allow many completions. The only points they were allowed that were allowed were by the second and third team defenses. The offense was a little shaky. They had a lot of chances. They were able to take advantage of some, but they left a lot to be desired as far as uh, incomplete passes and turnovers go. Well, as far as that offense goes, Greg, they've had the playmakers, Mooney at wideout, and, of course, Tim McVeigh. Yeah, McVeigh has really been phenomenal, and not just on offense, defense as well. Seven total touchdowns this year, five rushing, two kickoff returns. Also on defense has a safety and two sacks in those first two games. Yes, looking back at that Wildcat defense, though, that first team, not one point allowed. It seems like every drive they seem to improve throughout the game, and that's going to be big here against the Menor empty backfield spread offense Friday night. Yeah, and the defensive line is really going to be key. Menor, they don't leave a back in the backfield. Like you said, they've got the five wide receivers. So if that defensive front of uh, Kevin Kavlik, Mike Ryan, and Eddie Cleveland can get pressure on the quarterback, it's going to be a long day for Menor. But if they're not able to get pressure, Menor is going to have one heck of a time throwing the ball against the Wildcats. Men are a 2-0 and team. They come off wins against Youngstown, Ursuline in Week 2, Week 1 win against Euclid. It's a team that is in the same position that the Wildcats were in last year where they had a lot of questions to answer, a lot of young guys coming in. But these guys, they're young, they're fast, and they're athletic. What do you look for from this Wildcat defense to handle them? Well, their first two opponents weren't not to uh, downgrade them, but weren't quite as good as the Wildcats. This is going to be the first big test for their team. You know, Friday night game under the lights, on TV, on the radio. So uh, I'm going to assume they'll make a few mistakes. Uh, they have shown a lot of poise and composure in those first two games, but uh, they will make a few mistakes. As far as your biggest concern for the Wildcats offensively, we both discussed this, that offensive line does have some questions to answer. Yeah, even in blowout wins against Cody and Bedford, that offensive line allowed a lot of penetration. Quarterback Eric Williams didn't have a whole lot of time to throw the ball. He was under a lot of pressure. And also, the offensive line didn't do a great job of opening up holes for Tim McVeigh and Dan Grace running out of the backfield. Well, we should be looking for that from the offense, some improvement. And from the defense, their continuing play of blitzes and schemes that has gone very well for them. Friday night, 7 o'clock, we'll start with the Murphy Bergen pregame show at 645. We'll be right here on the SIBN. See you Friday night, everybody.